What is up, Troubler Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's go right into the news. Deji versus his coaching staff. Oh, it is getting ugly. There were some leaked DMs that came out. The coaching staff basically said that Deji didn't pay them. But then Deji's girlfriend today uploaded a video saying the coaches were horrible. They were putting fast food in front of Deji's face. They were cheating on their one prize. It's insane. Also, we got tons and tons of David Dobrik news. Everybody's still trying to cancel him. Plus, he might get in the boxing ring with Jeff Wittick, what? KSI is going to war with the one, the only, Austin McBroom, Jake Paul, and probably Rice Gum. Logan Paul has been spotted in London and Shane Dawson is pregnant. Got all these stories and much, much more, but before we get into it, make sure you subscribe with those notifications on, because you know as soon as I get the scoop, I'm gonna keep you in the loop for our very first story. David Dobrik. Now, you guys know David Dobrik got canceled, multiple scandals or whatever. He made a comeback, a very successful comeback, but some people still be hating. The Rolling Stones just did an interview with David Dobrik and said he was the king of YouTube until scandals and his vlog squad knocked him down in his first interview since the controversy. He faces questions about the power of his platform. Blah, 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 blah. The response! Why are you even giving him a platform? No, thank you. We're good. This wasn't needed. Rolling Stone, this is embarrassing. Embarrassing. Why Rolling Stone cover this? I thought you guys covered people who actually matter. He's trash. Car crash. What's wrong with him? Oh my God, people, shut up. David Dobrik, I will always give you a platform. You need to come on Drum Alert. But the Rolling Stones are the only one getting the heat. That's right, because Tana Mojo uploaded a brand new TikTok with David Dobrik. And like a couple hours later, she deleted it. That's right, Tana deleted it because people started sending her tons and tons of hate. And at first she was defending David. Tana said, don't even start in the comments. He had bad people around him and cut them off and apologized and took accountability. An amazing human that I love. Oh yeah? Why'd you delete the TikTok then? Man, these fake people. And then PewDiePie started raiding YouTubers' houses. And he called David a sociopath. Roll it. I think overall, you know, David being a sociopath and with lacking any actual personality, I think that also shows in this house. Whoa! And then, and then, and then, of course, we all know that David Dobrik spun Jeff Wittick around on an excavator and uh, smacked his head upside of it, and uh, he almost went blind. So now Jeff Wettick's seen all the, the, the boxing stuff going on, wants to get in the ring, and he thinks uh, he should box David. That's right, on Jeff's new video, he said 100K likes and I'll smash David's skull. And he got the likes! And then the two of them upload a TikTok playing around, and uh, yeah, David's not gonna survive this. Roll it. You can do this with the Mayweather, and then, <laughs> see? Oh, shit. <laughs> you got your hand. <laughs> <laughs> but David and Jeff Wittick isn't the only one uh, willing to jump in the ring. In fact, a bunch of YouTubers are coming out of the woodworks trying to get in the ring to box. And, well, a YouTube boxer who we haven't seen in years, uh, Jay Swindler from the uh, TGF Bros, he sent me this video. Bro. Oh, Keem, who wants it, bro? I'm back in the box. yeah? Right now, I'm looking to spark anybody that wants it. TikToker, YouTuber, already existing boxer who's in the who's in the game trying to make it happen. Like I'm I'm there, bro. My last fight I had with Gib, scrap that. Leave that in the past, bro. That was the worst ever. That was three months of training, yeah, with mad injuries, mad on in my life. I'm pretty sure Gib was training for like a year straight prior to this fight as well. So anybody that wants it, yeah. Danny Duncan, if you want it, Jay versus Gib too. Let's go. Let's do it. Bro energy right now i've got energy bro i'm taking this so serious dude i'm ready to take over Woo! if you want it he got it and speaking about want it you got it well notch uh he asked for some trouble because the creator of minecraft tweeted out this i'm not one to speak ill of the dead but yeah, Minecraft is a bit dead. Oh, that's gonna stir some feathers. In fact, Notch instantly started trending as everyone started attacking him from the Minecraft community. He got ratioed by a bunch of people somehow converting this into trans rights. 
Like, literally, all these have something to do with LGBTQ. Yeah. I'm as as lost as you. Did, does Notch not like the LGBTQ or something? Does he have an issue with them? I, I, but speaking about the LGBTQ, one of its uh, more popular members, Shane Dawson, is pregnant. That's right. And uh, first thing, we're talking about a rumor of Shane Dawson coming back with a documentary called Free Britney. And there was this video that came out. I can't play the video because it's copyrighted music in the background. But Shane's basically confirming, yeah, he's coming back with the Free Britney documentary. He makes a joke saying the whole series is going to be him dressed up as Britney Spears. And then in a new video today, Ryland, his uh, hubby, basically said that him and Shane Dawson are looking to have a baby very soon. He said the first step is to buy clothes for the baby. And uh, I don't know what the second step is. Siri, how did two men have a baby? Here's what I found. Also in the news. I don't even know what the next story is. <laughs> Oh, London Paul! <laughs> Logan Paul was spotted in London. On Last Term Alert, we told you that there's a rumor going around that Logan Paul or London Paul would show up in a Sidemen video coming up, and sure enough, people spotted him walking down the streets of London. Roll it. Hey, Eamon, why is Logan Paul in, in London? What the hell? Why is Logan Paul in London, bro? Okay, okay, but I really want to see those little kids on the scooter do a flip kick. Anyhow, speaking about Logan Paul in London with the Sidemen, you know, the, the biggest member of the Sidemen, KSI, has been beefing with everyone. It was announced that he already, like, publicly agreed. I mean, there's no contract, but publicly agreed to box Austin McBroom. And the response from Jake Paul, well, Jake is not happy. Jake said on Twitter, laughing out loud, KSI immediately jumping at an opportunity to fight Austin. I guess your music tours in COVID were only in the way of fighting me. KSI responded with a video back in the day when KSI first challenged Jake to uh, box, where Jake said he would not box KSI. And then, completely out of the blue, Rice Cum just started going off on KSI on stream. Here's a clip of that. Roll it. He asked me for like a feature. I helped him out. He stayed at our house for like a month, like that. And the reason he unfriended me, the reason he unfollowed me on everything is because I went to that Logan Paul fight and was sitting on Logan's side. I remember that. And he thought I was supporting Logan. And so he unfriended me on some stupid shit. And then I was just, and then now him and Logan are friends and he's mad at me. Like he just a little like bro, he's just weak, bro. He's now like, I gotta try. Now I gotta make you guys friends. I I'm mean, the one. I'm out bro, here. I'm, bro, I'm fighting for you. I have dog. my reasons, guys. I have my reasons. But we used to be friends, and he unfollowed me on everything because Logan gave me a free ticket. Like if Chance like gave me a free ticket, I would have pulled up. You feel me? But Logan actually, yo, shot, yo. Shot. He also said Chance's music is horrible. I'm. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our final story, Deji. Now, Deji had a loss against Vinny Hacker. I'm sure you all know, but just giving you some context here. And, well, the fans seem to blame Deji, but then also blame the coaches. It's been going back and forth. Was it Deji's coaches or was Deji to blame? Well, one Deji fan called out the coaches in DMs. These leaked DMs came out where uh, one of the coaches basically said, if I actually got paid for my work I did with Deji, I'd be happy to come see you, but I did it to help my uncle out. I put my business here in the UK on hold for five weeks with no pay. And this is the thanks I get? You really should do your homework before you run your mouth. Woo! And the DMs go on to say something about Deji not putting in the groundwork, you know, to get in shape for this and that their job was to... Teach him how to box, which he did pretty good boxing. He just didn't have the stamina. So listen, that's what I was planning on reporting today on Dromler, but then things quickly changed because there's a whole other side of the story because Deji's girlfriend, Dunja, uh, Dunja, she uploaded this video and she went off on Deji's coaches. I mean, she went in. She was saying they weren't doing anything good for Deji. She exposed them for cheating on their wife's role. Let's talk about Deji's team and I am not gonna bash their boxing skills. I'm gonna bash their actions. Rather their behavior during this quarantine trip and what I would have liked to see differently. First of all, the two weeks we spent in Cancun felt more like a vacation. 
than actual training. I don't think there was one day where Deji's team wasn't drunk on tequila. Tequila for lunch, tequila for dinner, tequila dessert. Hell, if they could have it for breakfast, they probably would. Trip. They just gave me drunk vibes, which is not okay at all. Second of all, the way they treated women. And as a woman, it ain't fun to see. One is married and one has a girlfriend. And I'm not gonna say any names, but yes, a lot of cheating happened, a lot. And that brings us to the part that makes me the most angry. Like actually furious. This was brought up to me after the whole trip. So when I was back in the UK, so I did not know anything. I don't care if you cheat on your wife, you 10 different girls on a trip where you're supposed to work on Deji. Well, you know what? I actually do care about that. But then telling my boyfriend to hit up one of those girls when I'm not there. Now just imagine this, okay? It was a party every night. There were tons of women wearing revealing clothes. These men have no backbone, no loyalty, and are so weak that they had to cheat. Men in the 30s, 40s, 50s. I don't know how old these people are. But telling my boyfriend to cheat on me during one of your drunk states? We've got a spare room. She will not know. Other than that, these guys pushed freaking fast food under Deji's nose, you know, chocolate burgers, whatever, fries. While he had to lose weight, he had to get to the 185 pounds mark. It came to the point where Deji and I just stopped eating with them because they became just so much of a trigger. But listen guys, that's all the news we have for today, guys. Make sure you subscribe with those notifications on because we're gonna stay on the story. We're gonna get to the bottom of this and find out who's actually to blame. And we're gonna report it right here in Drama Alert. So you wanna make sure you slap a like on this video and also make sure you're subscribed because you know, as soon as I get the scoop, I'm gonna keep you in the loop.